Now, one thing that causes a bit of confusion when working with vectors are the directions. Remember that when you're asked for a vector quantity, say displacement or a velocity for an answer, you are being asked not only for the magnitude, but also for the direction. The final answer will not receive full marks without indicating both magnitude and direction. Sometimes the direction is as simple as saying north or upstream or something like that, but sometimes it's not quite so simple. Let's take our resultant velocity shown below here, and how would you describe it? Well, the magnitude is easy, 10 meters per second. Now, what do we say about the direction? Well, since we have 30 degrees shown here, we could say that the direction is 30 degrees north of east. You see, here's the east, and we have to get our vector direction by moving north or up from the east by 30 degrees. So we call it 30 degrees north of east. Now there's also another way to describe this direction that's exactly the same, full marks for either. That is, since we know that it's 90 degrees in this corner here, then the angle must be 90 minus 30 or 60 degrees right here. Now this angle isn't north of east anymore. This angle is moving now from the north direction, moving to the east here. And we have to move it from the north 60 degrees toward the east. So we could call this vector 60 degrees east of north. So our final answer describing this vector could be either 10 meters per second at 30 degrees north of east or 10 meters per second at 60 degrees east of north.